Hey everybody, how's it going? I thought I'd go ahead and change up uh, the reviews here a little bit and put on something here from 2005 Revenge of the Sith Collection, basically the battle pack of the Imperial Throne Room. And this of course has Emperor Palpatine with a Stormtrooper, um, his Imperial Dignitary, and two of his Royal Guards. Now I picked this up back in Kmart um, back in 2005 for about 25 bucks. And, you know, I don't know what they really go for right now on eBay. But I've seen them as high as, you know, $30, $35 as soon as maybe about a year ago. I don't know what they're going for now. But I've been sitting on this and, you know, I don't have a loose dignitary. I have some stormtroopers. I could never have enough stormtroopers. And I got a, I have several of the royal guards. And I have plenty of Albert Emperor Palpatines. I don't have the best ones. But uh, I do have this one. So I think I'm going to open it up. Keep everybody except the Emperor. So let's check it out and see what it's all about. Okay, I can speak up a little bit now. Little one's awake. And downstairs with Mom. <laughs> okay, there's nothing to write home about with this pack. This Emperor figure right here, I'm keeping him tied up like this. Because I'm just going to either eBay him or trade him off. I have one here that's from Revenge of the Sith. It is pretty much the same. It is the same. So the, the, the only thing that's different is, is that the Emperor Palpatine, uh, he does come with this, which is in the package here. He does also have an additional elect, electricity for shock, for force lightning, I'm sorry. Um, but this one that comes with this Kmart pack does not come with a lightsaber. Wah, wah, wah. Anyways, he's got an okay uh, mold for the face. Nowhere near as nicely done like the vintage line. Which I, vintage collection, which I, I don't have. Come on now. There we go. Anyways, articulates at the shoulders. Um, laterally raises like so. Uh, rotates all the way around. When you push this in here like so or pull back. You pull down? Oh, wait. I thought that was a gimmick. Or maybe I'm not using it right. But there is a spring in there. This is, this might not be the right one. But anyways, sorry about that. But I really thought this shot out. But it does. But maybe my spring has got dust in it. Okay, the hood um, right here moves. It feels like it's separate. Oh, it does come off. Yeah, baldy. So let's take a look. First time I've taken it off and taken a look at him. Alright, he's an ugly dude. This looks like he's got a mold. The mold here looks like it's got hairlines, but no paint on there. Anyways, okay, so the hoodie comes off. Um, no special articulation, no uh, really anywhere else. He just rotates at the abdomen. No abdominal crunch. It's pretty thin. No rotation at the knees. So that's it for him. Let's take a look at the next one. Dignitary. Pretty much, uh, it's just a the fill. You know, it's just a nice little side figure. Uh, no articulation. That to write home about. He's got that funky articulation where it just rotates at the bicep. Uh, no shoulder articulation, or it seems like maybe it does, but it's hindered here by his robe. But I do like the look of the robe, and I do like the look of the character. The purple look with the with the black and the violet. But oh yeah, funky feet, legs. So see that. So, it just rotates. He can't do any cab raises. So, there's the dignitary. His fingers. Okay. Decent looking figure. Oh, these guys are disappointing. Articulation is at a slant on the arms uh, and elbows. And uh, the paint is weak. Tell you the truth, this, this red is just a little weak for me. I, I kind of like that darker red. 
Uh, the paint right here, I wish it was black or darker. It just looks like it's weakly painted. And I have three of these. The other one coming from the Imperial Transport vehicle. And it's kind of like the same here. No articulation at the knees. Um, just at the hips. And he's got his vibro wand here. I'm keeping this around here just so it'll keep stay in there. But uh, it's just really a so-so character. I'm, it's, it doesn't even rotate at the wrist here. Or does it? Nope, you have to rotate uh, the elbow. So it's like that for both of them. Kind of cheaply made figures here. And then you get the Stormtrooper, the Army Builder. This one's a bit bigger than what uh, I've been handling recently with the vintage line and whatnot. Because, of course, they, they're just a little built a little different. But articulation at the knees, none at the ankle, at the leg does not abduct uh, rotates at the well I guess uh, about 300 I mean 190 deg degrees here wait no he rotates 360 degrees at the waist or at the yeah the abdomen no abdominal crunch uh, oh wait a minute okay so this rotates around wow but does not extend out nope it's a peg in there disappointing I wonder if that's the same with this. Yep. No articulation at the elbow. That's lame. Head goes back and forth, does not go up and down. So, articulation's a little weak. And then, of course, you have the background setting. So, you got a little diorama background. All right, so what you have here is kind of like some cheaply made figures. Um that they just kind of threw in there. No lightsaber with the Emperor. Uh, one blaster pistol for the Stormtrooper. So, 25 bucks for the time. Was it worth it? No, nah, it's a rip-off. I mean, you figure it should have been sold for like maybe $3 a figure. So, one, two, three, four, five, fifteen bucks. And a diorama background. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess maybe not all that bad, but 25 bucks, a little too high. Anything more than that, especially with a limited articulation, I say I wouldn't pick it up for more than 20 bucks at the most. So, anyways, enough enough rambling. There's an inter there's a interview. There's a review for you for these characters, and stay tuned for the pictures and diorama setting and whatnot. And please uh, stay tuned for the next one for the next review. And uh, everyone, thanks for your time and take care.